Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Um, I wanted to share a product that I just got in, as you all know, or those of you that watch uh, my videos know that I am purging, I'm organizing, I'm, I'm reorganizing my craft room. I had uh, done it before, but it worked a little bit better, but I felt like there was still room for improvement. And it wasn't working for me in a sense that it wasn't functional, even though I had created a nice island in the center of my room where I could create. The island was just a little too big and it was taking too much room in my craft room. And because of the containers of things that I had, whether it be Happy Mail, whether it was new product I had picked up and I hadn't found a home for it yet, or things that I created that I just kind of put in a box and just set them on the floor out of my way or try to put them out of my way, it was getting to the point where I really couldn't walk around in my craft room. I just had a small area and I wasn't enjoying my craft room anymore. I was still creating but I wasn't enjoying my craft room. Uh, you all know that I love carnation crafts and I print out a lot of my uh, images that go with my dies. And that's awesome. I, I love my printer that I use. My computer is awesome. The only problem is that I didn't have them in the same spot. So when I was printing, I would have to go to the other side of the counter, my island. And I had to go around because I couldn't walk all the way around it. So I couldn't really take a shortcut. I had to go and walk completely around it to get to the other side uh, because one side was cluttered up with boxes on the floor to pull out my paper that I printed or to add paper to the printer because there are certain papers that I print on or because there was a paper jam, which that doesn't happen too often with my printer that I have now, but it still wasn't uh, functional for me because it, there wasn't any need for me to be having to go the long way, way around to get to my printer when I have a very long desk that it could sit on one side of my desk. And I had thought about downsizing my, my desk, but it didn't work out that way for me. I wasn't able to do it because my chair, I like to kind of push it under my desk and get it out of the way. Because of the smaller desktop, my chair didn't fit underneath so I had to go back to my longer one but that gave me an opportunity to put my printer on on the opposite end on my desk so I've been looking for things to organize things to organize my papers and even though I do have um, there's some uh, pockets that I'd like by uh, totally Tiffany those are a little bit higher end pockets for your papers or paper collections and don't get me wrong I love them I love them the only thing is that there are the price is pretty high to um, when they because they have pockets on the outside. They also have flaps and closures and all that. When you would slide one next to another, when you were sliding it in and let's say the closure was right here, sometimes the pocket would jam up and be stuck there. So I had to be very car careful in the way that I put them back when I was putting them away. So that's one of the things that I didn't care for. But along the way, I did find some pockets that were just one pocket, no no outer pockets or closures or anything that I really liked. And I don't remember who made them. But while I was looking for them, I found these by Samsil. And they are for scrapbooking. And they hold the 12 by 12 paper pads. And they come in 12 per pack. And I picked these up. I found these on Amazon. And it did take a while to come in. But they are very well made. Uh, they're, it's a very thick plastic. And uh, they do have the tabs. I hope you can see that. It has a tab on top. So if you want to label them. If you have them in some kind of filing system. And you want to just thumb through them. They do have the tab on top. So I love that. And again let me remove this. And I, I'm sorry I know it's white on white. And it's hard to see. I'll put this on the bottom. I'll put that on the bottom but what I like about this is like I said that doesn't have any outer pockets so when I put in uh, a collection in here and I'm sliding it into the the cubby in my uh, unit it's not going to get 
caught up because of the pockets and these do have a gusset so it's, it looks like it's about a half inch gusset so you will be able to add a whole paper pad in here or a whole paper pad plus embellishments you know a whole collection so I'm gonna put a 12 by 12 paper pad that I have uh, from I don't know where I picked it up Joann's or Michael's or somewhere and it fits really nice into the pocket with plenty plenty of room in the pocket to add an 8x8 eight eight or a 6x6 six six and the chipboard and everything in there and when I take this and slide it beside another pocket it's not going to get caught up so I love 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 uh, these pockets and um, this as you notice there's it's still white down here so that means that the paper pad is not all the way to the bottom because I'm keeping the gusset closed for now because even though I have a whole paper pad it still fits it comfortably without me expanding the pocket but if I wanted it to drop all the way down then I would have to just open this gusset and slide it and let's do that and just slide it all the way in and of course if I had other things in here it would expand and open up but I don't have anything that goes with this just uh, it's just a paper pad of glitter paper but I can just pull it down and see here's the gusset so it's pretty uh, I, I say it's about a half an inch it might be a little bit more kind of looks like a half an inch to me but I do have plenty of room to grow in this pocket to house a whole collection um, and these again are going to go into my unit and it keeps everything nice and safe even if I had some loose glitter sheets that um, the way I'm sorting now I'm hoping that it's a better way and um, I did categorize all my paper pads and um, I did put my specialty paper which would be glitter paper uh, any kind of uh, texture paper um, printed acetate vellum that's printed like I'm, I'm talking about printed types of paper and maybe even vellum and all of that right now I have them under my island but that could change because I think I want to do a whole section where all my specialty paper is so that way when I'm looking for uh, glitter paper I, or vellum or acetate or textured paper whatever it happens to be because I don't have a lot of it foil paper it will all be in the same spot so that's what I'm trying to do group like like things together that way I can find them anyway guys I only wanted that's all that I wanted to share with you I will um, put the link in the description box below this video uh, they did take a little while to come in I think I ordered them a couple of weeks ago and they finally came in today but like I said they're very well made the pockets are pretty thick and they can hold quite a bit so I know I'm going to love these pockets I did order a um, I did get in the totally Tiffany as a matter of fact let me share that box with you right now I already set it up and I will share it with y'all when I'm a little bit more situated this I think is day five of my organizing guys and I'm still at it but I picked up this um, hopefully I can get it far enough the scrap rack from totally Tiffany and it comes with these uh, it comes with seven spines and then it's got like the two wings and you these are only velcro on with like commercial heavy-duty uh, velcro so you just pull out the spines and load them up and you will separate them in four different categories uh, the first one being in uh, letters and numbers the second category I believe it's themes and sentiments the third one is the calendar year which would be anything uh, for different holidays and seasons and then the last one is the rainbow section which would be any type of any color of paper that not that is not theme specific let's say I had a paper that had polka dots or in different shades the whole paper pad or I had something that had solids and not a specific theme then that would go in the rainbow so that's how she uh, does does her separating for her products when she promotes her products and I find that it does work because I already do that with my um, 
with my clear boxes that I shared with you guys, that's how I separate them. Anything pink goes in a pink box, with, no matter what it is. And the same concept is here. And you and it's she's got all different configurations of her pockets. So you can have like four pockets that are six by six. You can have a pocket that's 12 by 12 that is split down the middle. So you have two long pockets. So she's got all different configurations for all types of embellishments. And this that's what this is create this uh, system was created for. Mostly I have stickers in mind. I do have some embellishments, but I will share that with you guys once I have it fully loaded because I need to order some more pockets. I already had some of her pockets because I used them prior to getting the binder or this binder system. I already uh, kept some of my things in there, so I had some, but I didn't have many. And I have a bunch of stuff just kind of piled up that needs to go into the scrap rack. And even though it stays open and it takes up a nice chunk of one of my counters i find that because i had so many so much counter space or count whether it was my desktop my island uh, my other little countertop that has my cabinets underneath that because i had so many things and nothing really had a permanent home that all the tops were more, more like a catch-all than anything else and by having my scrap rack there I, I can flip through through it and find things that that I can craft with that normally I have put away forgot about it didn't want to bother with uh, you know having to uh, look for them pull them out from the bottom of the cubby or whatever and look through it this way it's on the countertop all I have to do is flip through it like a notebook and hopefully this way I will use the things that I have in there and most of my things that I have in there are stickers but it's for all types of embellishments so I will share that with you guys at a later date but today I just wanted to share uh, the pockets thanks for watching I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless bye